My name is Yoji Matsushima. I was born in Portland, Oregon. I grew up in uh, Old Town or Nihonmachi on 3rd and Davis Street. That was my uh, home. My father was born in Okayama, Japan, 1899. And my mother was born in 1909. It was arranged marriage. My father and my uncle both got arrested on December the 11th. The money from the store was all confiscated. They couldn't touch the money. He ended up at uh, Rocky Butte Jail uh, for about two weeks. Then uh, he was transferred to uh, Missoula, Montana at the, toward the end of December. That was taken in uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, and that picture showed the group from Portland. I believe there was about 78 that were in that picture. They were considered POWs, enemy aliens. We were separated for over two years, almost two years. My mother and dad, through the Red Cross, communicated and uh, they decided that they were going to repatriate to Japan during the war. I had a brother and a sister in Japan and they wanted the family together and they thought that it might be better if we were together. You have uh, diplomats, uh, people, families that were stuck in Japan or maybe in somewhere else like Philippines and they wanted to uh, repatriate, come back. They would exchange one, one prisoner for one, uh, one, one for one. There was a Swedish ship called Gripzone we went from Minnetonka to uh, New Jersey, and uh, we were by the dock side of the ship, and uh, we didn't see my dad. He never came out. Well, we found out that we we're gonna go to a place called Crystal City, Texas which is about 40 miles from the border of Mexico. And uh, we didn't even know that there was a camp like that. It was a family internment camp. But we had German families and Italian families and Japanese families and people from Peru and South America. Very interesting group. Uh, the Germans were segregated from uh, the Japanese, not by wire, it was just a different area. One thing is uh, we were under the Geneva Convention rules, and uh, the best thing about that was that instead of barracks, we were in cabins. Each family had a kitchen of their own. It wasn't much of a kitchen, but uh, we had a kerosene stove, and we had a ice box, real ice box that they would deliver ice to every day. And uh, they would deliver milk every day. And my mother would go down to the uh, grocery store and buy groceries every day and use uh, special camp money made out of plastic. April the 3rd, 1946. I remember that day. I remember Mrs. Horigami on the bus going to the city of Uvalde, Texas to catch her train. She was just jumping up and down like, 
I, I didn't think that Issei ladies would, <laughs> would do something like that, but she was just so happy. You know, when we came out from camp, the government didn't give us anything. You know, they gave a, us a train ticket home and $25. And that was it. <laughs>